Illustrator Chapter 10, we're starting on, uh, this is Part B, we're starting on page 309 using art brushes. Art brushes uh, stretch either artwork or an embedded raster image across, along the length of the path. Same way, you can edit the brush options that are going to affect how the brush is applying the artwork. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply an existing art brush uh, to make a wake at the front of the boat. So in the brushes panel, you want to click on the uh, drop down menu and we're going to deselect the calligraphic brushes and you're going to show art brushes. Okay, brings up three that are defaults. Now go to the brush library button and you're going to get artistic brushes, artistic paintbrush, which is going to bring up this and you're going to select brush three. Okay, and I didn't mean to leave that selected, so let me undo that and click off to the side. Once I have brush three selected, there we go. Now I can close that, uh, that panel. Remember, selecting a brush adds it to your brushes panel. Okay, now we're going to pick up our brush tool and we're going to change the stroke color to white. We're going to give no fill and we want the stroke weight to stay. Yes, we did the, we did the stroke weight already at one point. Okay, in the layers panel, make sure that you are on the spray tree layer because we want this to be in front of the ship. So with the paintbrush, you're going to start a little bit in, down and in front of the, the ship, and you're just going to make a line that runs part way back. We're creating a wake. So we drag to the left along the bottom red strip. Now, if you don't like it, you can undo it and do it over. But when you are happy with it, we're going to start from the same point in the front and draw one that goes off to the right. So we're creating the wake. If you don't like it, undo, draw another one. And when you're happy with that, you're going to put a U shape in to kind of join the two of them together. And then add a couple more paths so that you can see, make it look like the water is splashing up over the front of the, of the boat. When you're done, go to File and Save. The next thing we're going to do is create an art brush using a raster image. We're going to place a, a raster image and embed it to use to make a new art brush. So at this point, you can get your selection tool and then go to File and Place. In your Lesson 10 folder, you're going to select the tree file. Make sure that link is not selected. You want this empty and then select place. You have your loaded icon, just place that someplace on your artboard and click. It's Leave it selected because the next thing you're going to do is go into your brushes panel and you're going to select a new brush at the bottom. This is an art brush, not a calligraphic brush, so select that and say OK. There's your art brush. We're going to change the name of that to Palm Tree and you can say OK. When you place a, a raster image as long as it's embedded you can use that to make a uh, to make a, a brush. You can use at any artwork as long as it doesn't contain a gradient or a blend. It can't have any other brush strokes in it. You do, can't put in a mesh object like the envelope warps. You can't do a graph. You can't do link files. They have to be placed and embedded. You can't do a mask or you can't do something with text unless the text is converted to outlines. So there are limitations on what you can use, but there's 
a lot that you can. Okay, so we've already named this palm tree. And so now, because we have this saved in the brushes, we can just delete the tree that we placed in. We don't need that anymore. We're going to apply the palm tree to the line so that this tall black line that's on your image, select it and just select the palm tree brush and see how that is applied to, the, to that stroke. Very easy to add that. We're going to make some changes, however. It's not exactly what we want. So double click on palm tree to open it on the icon. I'm going to slide this over a little bit so you can actually watch what happens as we make the changes. Okay, so we're going to change this to stretch between guides. Right now the whole tree is stretched to make to fill the slot. See from zero inches to at the top to or at the bottom and up to 8.3 inches. Well, actually it's going down is what it's doing. So zero to 8.3 inches. That's how tall the line was. Well, we want it, we don't want it to start stretching at the top. We want to stretch the trunk of the, the uh, tree, not the top up here. So we're going to start our stretch rather than at zero. We're going to start it at five inches. And did you see how that changed? I've got preview selected. It made a change. Okay, so next we're going to have it end at six inches, which isn't really going to make a, a big visible change, but we're also going to flip this along the across. The, the, we're going to slip, uh, flip it along the vertical axis. Whoa, wrong one. There's the one I want to go. There we go. That flipped it along the side, side to side. And we're going to say OK. And I'm going to apply to strokes because we did it just simply for that palm tree. So let me undo just so that you can see the difference. Do you see the palm tree stretched down to here? And when I reapply the change, the stretch is applied from here to here. Okay, so we have a lot of control over what we do. The next thing, I'm going to click off to the side and I'm going to save. And you also noticed how the, how the, uh, the fronds are now swapped. But the next thing we're going to do is using the bristle brushes. Now the bristle brush makes you able to look like you're painting with a real brush. So we're going to change a brush by adjusting its settings. And then we're going to make some brush marks up here where the uh, smoke is coming out of, the, out of the stacks. So first, in the brushes panel, click the panel menu icon. And we're going to show bristle brushes and deselect the art brushes. The one brush that comes up is the default brush called Mop. So double click on the icon for Mop so you can get the dialog box. And the shape of this is a round fan. The size bring up from six millimeters to seven. We want it a little bit larger. We're going to leave the bristle length at the default we're going to take the brush density down a little bit, bring it down to about 20%. And we're going to accept the default on the, the thickness, opacity, and stiffness and say, OK. So now we've made some adjustments to the, to the mop. Next, we're going to use the mop brush to draw some smoke above the ship. So painting with the bristle brush can create a very organic, fluid looking path. We're going to constrain what we're painting. So we're going to paint inside a shape. This is going to hide part of the painting so that it can't be painted on. So let's zoom in 
on the smoke and with your selection tool nope not that we want to select the smoke there we go now this selects the layer see we've now we were working on the green layer now we're on the red layer and this is selecting that layer so that the artwork we paint stays on that same layer we're also going to change and draw on the inside we've done this before okay now with the smoke shape still selected and draw inside changed we're going to change the fill color right now to none that gives us the sky coming through they still have an outline don't take the stroke away we need that but now deselect by clicking off to the side the dotted lines on the corner of the shape show that any paths you paint are going to be masked by that shape so pick up your paintbrush tool and select the mop make sure that the fill color is none and we want a white stroke so make that change make sure that the stroke weight is one point and position the pointer at the top of the largest smokestack drag up down and to the left to follow the edge of the smoke shape so we're just going to select and we're going to go up and around I don't know why mine's not picking up right and we're just going to be adding smoke paint some more pads inside the smoke shape using the mop tool you can draw from each of the smoke stacks and follow the smoke shape we want to fill up that shape with the pads that you paint so keep adding if you start below it's not going to matter because we're constrained we can't draw outside well it's not going to show up anything that we do outside that shape is not going to be seen so you can just draw inside and you see how everything just kind of disappears so once you have your shape filled to the point you like it you can go up to view and look at the outline and you'll see all the lines that you had drawn okay now let's go to select object bristle brush strokes that selects all of those individual strokes you did and you're going to go to object and group so they're all going to be a single group now and when we go to view again and preview you'll see just the output and now you can go and so change to draw normal and that's going to hide that and if you click the selection tool and go to select deselect now you can go in and double click the edge of the smoke shape to enter isolation mode and click on that same smoke shape to select it oh I don't think I'm in the right isolation mode let me escape from that there it is now I can go to isolation mode and select it for some reason it wanted to pick me up into the uh, uh, the tree and I'm going to change the stroke color now to none and now when I exit the isolation mode all that's all I'm going to see is the smoke 